Hello and welcome to Rocket Fuel, your daily update for everything that's happening in the Rocket Pool community. So it's merge day and um, happy merge day to everyone who's made it here. Um, I have this uh, thing that I just wanted to share with you made by Daryl who said whack whack attacks merge smile bought to you by Rocket Fuel. So this was a nice meme that Daryl made for me but um, yeah it's happy merge day everyone. It's been a good one and it's been a long time coming and it's finally here and it's really exciting. Um, saying that, there's going to be a treat for people who um, follow my thread on on uh, Discord. So if you go to Discord right here under chat, if you go to trading and then over here you click on the threads and there's one called rocket fuel right here if you click on rocket fuel at the top you click these three buttons and then there's one here called join thread um i think you should join the thread like very soon because good things are going to happen for people who join the thread um something good it's just as i think i'm not going to say too much because i don't want to tease it too much um i'm not going to ask for like likes or follows on twitter or any of that kind of stuff it's just a come join the thread it's a place where I post the video every day and um, people just kind of like talk to me about my smile. <laughs> it's kind of become a joke now. So um, I don't have time to go through what happened yesterday. I'm going to start today with this uh, post by Dave. And he said, happy merge to everyone. Some six years ago, almost the day Vitalik released the Morph paper. This early paper wasn't the first on Ethereum staking, but it contained specific details on some settings and functions like, and then he has some code, which hadn't been seen before. These functions would eventually become Casper, a smart contract that enabled staking on Ethereum. While this initial version of staking on Ethereum didn't make the cut, it was enough to spark a little idea. At the time, mining pools were all the rage, and it was largely debated how centralized they had become and remain. With the event that smart contracts now existed, and also a hint of some implementation details now available, might it be possible to make them now decentralized? With the morph paper in hand, Rocket Pool was created to see if that idea was actually possible. An eternity in crypto later, we are now on the cusp of the biggest upgrade a blockchain has ever seen. Gun is taking on Casper, replaced by a whole new beacon chain, which will soon be merged with the main Ethereum chain that existed all those years ago when the morph paper was released. Rocket Pool being the oldest staking project on Ethereum and working hot on the heels of its evolution, we've seen challenge after challenge along the way and understand exactly what it's taken to get here. So today we raise our glasses to the Ethereum Foundation, all the core developers, teams and countless contributed contributions from individuals along the way to help make this day a reality. What will be accomplished today is nothing short of remarkable. We invite everyone here to join our Merge Party channel for the event which looks to occur in around four hours time from that post it's a little bit less now so the merge, merge party channel if you go and chat you keep scrolling down and then go past memes and random and there's a merge party right here you can join that join the audio and say hi to everyone who's in there right now we've got a nice fair chunk of people in there and uh, people will just be talking about the merge which is i mean what better thing is there to be talking about today so Next, we have um, the community call from um, the bi-weekly uh, community call with Jasper yesterday and Mav and Langers and uh, Joe were in there. And there were updates about the, um, everything that's been happening in the last few weeks. And we kind of talked about the, the post that went out on Reddit yesterday. So I won't take up too much time talking about the community uh, call, but um, you can listen to it. And there were some like little details in there that were quite good. Um, Next, we have this um, post by Joe today. So, Marceau, someone got in touch with Marceau from the Ethereum Foundation asking what um, take up on the MEV boost was for the Rocket Pool community. They were wondering what kind of numbers we were getting, like how many people had opted in, how many people didn't opt in. And um, Joe ran uh, the numbers earlier during the day, and then he ran these numbers just a little while ago. And it says nodes in any MEV is 33.7%. And mini pools in any MEV is 43.17%. So the uptake has been quite slow compared to what I thought it might be. I thought the numbers would be maybe double that. And it seems like from Maso's hinting that the um, 
the Ethereum Foundation thought the numbers might be a bit higher than that too. So then they breaks it down by all the different relays and what percentages there are. This actually brought up a really interesting discussion um, about um, people who are in the smoothing pool but are not um, getting MEV boost. And then what happens is they take rewards from other people using MEV boost, but they're not contributing rewards to the staking pool. So they act as a net drag on the on the network. Um, and a really interesting discussion came up about um, what, like, you know, the, the moral stance of that should be. Because if you are a moral person and you don't want to use MEV, that's good for you. You know, that's fine. However, then don't join the staking pool because that makes you a hypocrite and it makes you a mucha and it's it's not good luck and um and then yeah so the um this will become a non-issue and if like maybe in a couple of months time when um rocky pool protocol starts requiring you to use mev boost but until then you know the people who are um until then the people who are in the smoothing pool but not in the MEV boost are acting as leeches on the on the people who are in the smoothing pool. So um, there was a good discussion that happened here and I think um, it's worth like reading it but I don't think anyone's going to go back and read anything today because there's just way 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 too much stuff. Um, we, I was swamped trying to gather all this information today because the last 24 hours have just been incredibly busy. Um, yeah, so Joe says over here, look, someone says, um, unless you are fundamentally philosophically opposed to the idea, you should enable MEV boost. And then Valdorf comes out and says, um, oops, sorry, my camera's having some issues. Um, hi again. Okay, so Valdorf says, um, and in this case, don't be a jerk and join the smoothing pool. Asking others to fund your morals is weird. And um, and then this is the really interesting thing, the thing that I want to share with you is, Joseph, if it comes down to it, we could do a DAO vote on making people in a smoothing pool, but not an MEV boost, only get 75 or 50% of the expected rewards or whatever during tree generation. I think that's a really interesting post uh, comment to make and I think that someone should definitely like write up a quick RPIP about that and get it in the DAO forum so we can vote on it because I think there'll be a lot of support for people from the smoothing pool who will definitely vote in favour of that. I know I would. Um, so moving on from there, next we have this company called um, Dokia Capital. So Maso made this... Um, post yesterday now he said has anyone made contact with dokia capital looks like they're a staking service that just started using rocket pool under the hood so then as the evening went on we got a couple of big buys coming in from dokia capital as you can see right here dokia capital they made a couple of big buys of the rpl token of around like 35 36 eth worth um and then we see that they actually spun up um Wait, that's not the right information. Sorry, give me a second. Oh, wait, I've lost the other. That's my, hold on a second. Let me just get it from here. Um, here we go. Sorry about that. Um, so then we see the smoothing pool and not only did they make 61 mini pools, but they also joined the smoothing pool and now are the number one smoothing pool um, node. Um, so they they so this is the website for the for the there, it seems like they're a staking service and they're using Rocket Pool under the under the hood, which I think is something that's going to get really big in the next year or so, especially when the SAS contract comes out, um, upgrade gets made in the Atlas uh, upgrade. But what they're doing basically is they're taking ETH from their um, depositors and they're spinning up mini pools using that ETH. And what they're doing is they're able to take 15% of the commission from the R ETH holders and pocket that themselves. So they're giving their stakers um, commission free stake, keeping 15% on top for themselves. And then also getting RPL rewards. Um, 
I'm not sure what their collateral percentage is at the moment, but it would make sense that it's, it would be quite low. But um, they, I think a lot more companies are going to be doing this. And Ken even mentioned this in the Bankless broadcast a couple of weeks ago, where he was saying that um, you can white label it, right? And he gave the example of Kirkland at Costco, buying products from other companies and then just putting their own label on it. And I think that's kind of what probably will happen with staking as a service and people using um, the rocket pool contracts under the hood and um, just taking those percentages off the top for themselves. And in all honesty, like I don't know why a lot more people aren't already doing this because the scope for making money there is absolutely huge. So maybe it's something we'll, I think, I strongly think it's something that we'll see a lot more of in the next six months to one year. Okay, next we had this uh, tweet from Erica Lindgren and um, she tweeted to Ken and Marceau saying, Hello, I'm Erica from Exodus IO. I heard you guys in the Bankless podcast. I would love to chat with you about the Rocket Pool staking as service offerings. So um, Exodus is a wallet. And then when Marceau reached out to Erica, uh, Erica said, Hi, thanks so much for getting back to me. Our co-founder is really fired up about Rocket Pool and I would love to get a call on the books too and then that's all he teased so um, it might be the case that they're trying to integrate rocket pool into a service that they're offering their customers kind of like docia capital are doing um, i'm not sure exactly what the details are muscle has been quite um, tight-lipped about it but um, it's definitely quite interesting to see what might happen there and then um, next we have this uh, dune analytics dashboard by scoot and it's called rocket pool volume and then it has daily RETH volume and daily RPL volume. So as you can see by these spikes recently in the last couple of weeks, the overall averages have definitely gone up in terms of volume for RETH and um, the RPL tokens. So I think that's really interesting to look at. Um, and yeah, on that note, I'm going to finish today. Um, I could have talked for another half an hour because there were some really amazing conversations that were happening in trading today but um, there's just too much. And now is the time for me to get ready for the merch and um, join that, join the call and like chat with my crypto bros. <laughs> but but um, it's really exciting night. I'm gonna stay awake and watch the merch come in at around, I th think it will be in around three hours from now. So at around 1.30 a.m. So I'm really excited. I hope you're all excited, um, but I hope it all goes smoothly and you all enjoy the day and um, I'll see you all tomorrow. I'm sure there's only going to be one topic that we're all talking about tomorrow, so I can't wait. Have a great night, everyone. Bye.